Good morning, fellow Nigerians. For Nigerians who don't know me, my name is Smart Mado Ajaja. I am from Abavo in the Kass South local government area of Delta State of Nigeria. I have done over 200 video recordings on Nigeria's situation and solutions to them. I am on YouTube as Smart Mado Ajaja. After watching my video, please subscribe to my channel, Smart Mado Ajaja, and click on the bell so that you receive notifications every time I make an update. I've de decided to use YouTube much more than any other social media platform because of its stability and because the messages can always be referred back to. Today I'm going to be talking about religion in Nigeria and how religion has become the biggest industry and yet the most sensitive issue to talk about. Religion has become a huge instrument with which Nigerians are being held down. It is only in Nigeria that uh, people will be killing fellow Nigerians because of disturb disturbances in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, Iraq, Iran, or whenever there is any problem involving Israel and any other country in the Arab world. I see those problems are Nigerian problems. So it begins to make me wonder as if we have an identity crisis that uh, some of us do not know that we are Africans, that we are not Arabs, and that we are not Europeans. So it is very difficult to understand why Arab European problems become an African emergency. The root cause of it is ignorance, secondary to tragic failure of leadership. Our educational system has once again been found culprit. We are not teaching our young people, we are not teaching our children about who we are. We are teaching our children that they are Europeans. We are teaching our children that they are Arabs, that they are not. Through politicized religions. Why on earth we Nigerians be protesting a decision that uh, Donald Trump, the President of the United States, unilaterally made without even involving the Congress to kill an Iranian army general that is not a Nigerian. Why are Nigerians from some part of the country taken to the streets? Yet the same Nigerians look the other way when fellow Nigerians all over Nigeria are being murdered by Boko Haram and by deadly terrorist headsmen. What are we trying to 
infer what message are we sending that now Nigeria is, is an Iranian annex I speak to the political leadership and the religious leadership in the northern part of Nigeria you cannot exonerate the, uh, yourself from this this barbaric behavior that has become a recurring decima in your part of the country you are using religion to hold your people down you are re using religion to withdraw your people from asserting their citizenship of Nigeria. You are using religion to make your people look as if they are Arabians, whereas they are Africans, and most importantly, Nigerians. How long are you going to play this game of repression with your people? Why you send your own children to European schools? Why your children are on the streets of London, New York, Colorado, Los Angeles, Chicago? Why your children are studying in Dubai? You are pauperizing innocent children that you use to create mayhem in your country. Isn't it time you stopped? Because one day, and I see it coming soon, this whole thing is going to flip on you. Because your captives will see the light and they will turn the heat on you. You Imams who are teaching false religious ideologies, your days will come and it will be terrible for you. We are Nigerians. We are not Arabs. We are not Europeans. We must act like Nigerians. We must react to global issue, issues from Nigerian perspectives. Why are you causing Nigeria stress why for your own foolish and ignorant behaviors the entire country is being put on security alerts that cost the country millions if not billions of naira for something that has nothing to do with nigeria or africa Isn't it time? You northern elites, you have demonstrated, especially those of you who are driven by this false religious fundamental foolishness that has not grown Nigerian economy, that has produced the worst form of crushing poverty, especially in your area. Isn't it time you stopped? I speak to those hypocrites too who claim that they are Christians, who teach false Christian doctrines that are at variance with what is in the book, that is at variance with morality. You exploit us, who make our people poorer. You build schools that members of your congregations cannot afford. And you call the name of Jesus Christ. You should be ashamed of yourselves. The moment has changed, has come. For Nigeria to look at its educational curriculum. 
because neither teaching nor learning is taking place in Nigeria at the moment. The country has gone haywire. People do as they wish, as if we, ha we don't have a government. Why should we be teaching the type of religious fundamentalist ideas that have nothing to do with the culture and tradition of Africa? Why are we allowing this rogue religious ideology to take hold in our country? And put our national security at its test, at test at all the times. Isn't it time our government become more sensitive to the needs of our people? Nigerians must rise up. Against these false teachers of bad religions. God does not permit the killing of any man. God made life sacrosanct. The men and women driving this false religious ideologies in Nigeria don't know God. They are hypocrites, parasites, and terrorists. Nigerians, unite and give them a pushback. Enough is enough. And God bless Nigeria.